Unit 6, Exam 1819 for History. Directions. Answer each question below through annotating and paraphrasing with background knowledge. Number 1. In the Kansas-Nebraska Act of 1854, popular sovereignty was proposed as a way to A. Allow northern states the power to ban slavery. B. Deny southern states the legal right to transport slaves. C. Allow settlers in new territories to vote on the issue of slavery. D. Overturn previous Supreme Court decisions on slavery. 2. In what way did William Lloyd Garrison's The Liberator increase sectional tensions in the United States? A. Garrison insisted that westward expansion would destroy the traditional culture of America. B. Garrison supported the institution of slavery because he argued that slaves had a better living standard than workers in northern cities. C. Garrison insisted that the values of western farmers were superior to the values of those in the east. D. Garrison angered southern slave owners by condemning slavery on moral grounds and demanding immediate emancipation. 3. How did the cotton gin affect the southern economy from 1800 to 1860? A. It encouraged industrialization in the South. B. It promoted eco economic equality in the South. C. It strengthened Southerners' reliance on slavery. D. It increased Southerners' use of indentured servants. 4. Why did the Supreme Court rule against Dred Scott and Dred Scott v. Stanford? A. The Supreme Court determined that Scott was not a citizen and therefore had no right to sue in court. B. The Supreme Court determined that laws permitting slavery in southern states violated the Constitution. C. The Supreme Court determined that Dred Scott did not have a right to attend public because he was illiterate. D. The Supreme Court determined that Dred Scott was still a slave because he could not afford to buy his own freedom. 5. What was the purpose of the Missouri Compromise of 1820? A. To prohibit the slave trade and territories gained during the Mexican War. B. To maintain a balance of free states and slave states in the Senate. C. To prohibit slavery throughout the Arkansas Territory. D. To determine the, if Missouri would be admitted as a free state or a slave state. 6. Why did Southerners eventually accept the Compromise of 1850? A. The admission of California as a free state. B. The passage of a strict fugitive slave law. C. The end of slave trade in Washington, D.C. D. The allowance of popular... Sovereignty in New Territories. 7. What is Frederick Douglass best known for having done? A. He authored the controversial novel Uncle Tob's Cabin. B. He led slaves to freedom in the North using the Underground Railroad. C. He wrote three autobiographies describing his experience while in slavery. D. He led a raid of Harper's Ferry in hopes of inciting a slave rebellion. The quote is for number eight. The quote says, A house divided against itself cannot stand. I believe this government cannot endure permanently half slave and half freedom. Abraham Lincoln, 1858. According to this quotation, Abraham Lincoln believed that A. Lincoln thought the North and South should engage in war. B. Sectional differences threaten to destroy the Union. C. The Southern states should be allowed to secede. D. To save the nation, the North should compromise with the South on slavery. Directions. 
for numbers 9 through 14. Match the following terms of agreement to the appropriate congressional compromise. A. The Missouri Compromise of 1820. B. The Compromise of 1850. 9. Which of those answer options goes with the Fugitive Slave Act? 10. Which of those answer options goes with Missouri enters the Union as a slave state? 11. The Missouri Compromise of 1820 or B, the Compromise of 1850, goes with Maine enters the Union as a free state. 12, either A, the Missouri Compromise of 1820, or B, the Compromise of 1850, slave trade illegal in Washington, D.C. 13, blank, no slavery allowed north of the 36-30 parallel line. 14, Blank. California enters the Union as a free state. 15. Which of the following geographic regions, including Scott County, rejected the secession vote in 1861 in civil violence? A. East Tennessee. B. The Nashville Basin. C. Middle Tennessee. D. West Tennessee. What led to the election of Abraham Lincoln in 1860? A. Sectional divisions over slavery in the De Democratic Party and across the U.S. B. Receiving all the votes from the South. C. A Supreme Court decision. D. A Congressional Electoral Commission. 17. Which of the following African American regiments under Robert Goud Shaw stormed the Confederate Fort Wagner. A. The 56th Maine. B. 54th Massachusetts. C. The 25th Tennessee. D. The 25th Virginia. 18. The Battle of Gettysburg is best described as A. The bloodiest state in American history. B. A three day conflict which forced General Lee to retreat and remain in the South for the rest of the war and costliest event of the Civil War, C, the location at which Lee surrendered to Grant, D, the first major battle that demonstrated the war would be long and difficult for everyone involved, 19, the bloodiest state in American history occurred at, A, the Battle of Antietam, Sharpsburg, B, the Battle of Chancellorsville, C. The First Battle of Bull Run. D. The Battle of Gettysburg. You may ask Mr. Bracco to read answer options for number 19. Number 20. The Civil War officially ended at A. Chancellorsville. B. Shiloh. C. Appomattox Courthouse. D. The Second Battle of Bull Run. You may ask Mr. Bracco to read the answer choices for number 20. 21. According to the table below, which of the following reconstruction plans is being described? In this box, it says terms of reconstruction. First bullet point, small loyalty pledge for readmission to the Union. Second bullet point, slavery is outlawed. Third bullet point. No punishment to Southerners except Confederate leaders. Does this describe A, the Radical Republican Congress Plan Wade Davis Bill, B, Johnson's Plan, C, Lincoln's 10% Plan, D, the Democratic Resolution? 22. According to the table below, which of the following Reconstruction plans is being described? Terms of Reconstruction, first bulletin point. Majority must pledge loyalty to the Union. Slavery is outlawed. Harsher terms on the South, especially former Confederates. All of these, do they describe A, the Democratic Resolution, B, Johnson's Plan, C, Lincoln's 10% Plan, D, the Radical Republican Congress Plan Wade Davis Bill. 23. 
Complete the following table below with an additional example of a black code, Jim Crow Law. Examples of Jim Crow Laws First bulletin point, separate but equal. Second bulletin point, you will fill in with the answer choice you choose. Third bulletin point, banning interracial marriage. Which of the answer options is an example of Jim Crow laws? A. Voting rights. B. Right to own property. C. Segregation. D. Integration. 24. What is being described in the table below? Terms of agreement. Rutherford B. Hayes wins the election of 1876. Republicans remain in control of the White House. Federal troops removed in martial law ends in the South. Reconstruction comes to an end. All of these bulletin points in the terms of an agreement, do they describe A, the Great Compromise, B, the Compromise of 1877, C, the Constitutional Convention of 1870, D, the Fourteenth Amendment? 25. What is being described in the table below? Descriptions. Bulletin point one. Jim Crow laws lead to oppression and frustration for African Americans in Tennessee. Second bulletin point. The Homestead Act is passed in motivating people to claim lands in the West. Third bulletin point. Pap Singleton circulates posters encouraging African Americans to become exodusters. A. The Black Exodus. B. The Great Migration. C. Manifest Destiny. D. Triangular Trade. 26. What contributed to the elections of the following men? We have African American members of the Tennessee General Assembly, 1873 to 1884. Representative Samson W. Keeble, 1873-1874. Representative John W. Boyd, 1881, 1884. Representative Thomas A. Sykes, 1881, 1882. Representative Thomas F. Castles, 1881, 1882. Representative Isham F. Norris, from 1881 to 1882. What contributed to the elections of the following men? A. Ratification of the 15th Amendment. B. Dem Democratic control in the South, C. Expanding trade after the Civil War, D. The Con Constitutional Convention of 1870. 27. The Dawes Act was responsible for A. An increase in ranchers and cowboys, B. The boom in the cattle industry, C. African American migration to the West, D. Forced relocation of Native Americans to reservations. 28. Complete the following table. To the left says the U.S. government needs to incentivize Americans to populate and cultivate the barren Great Plains. The middle box is blank. To the right, 10% of America is given away to brave people who develop the Great Plains through agricultural and construction. A. The 14th Amendment was passed. B. The Homestead Act was passed. C. The Dawes Act was passed. D. The election of 1876 occurred. 29. Using the table below, identify the appropriate historical event. Consequences of Development An increase in Chinese and Irish immigration to America. The Pacific Railway Act. Emergence and competition of Central Pacific and Union Pacific corporations. The Golden Spike Event of 1869. The connection of East and West Coasts. A. The Homestead Act. B. The Long Drive. C. The completion of the Transcontinental Railroad. D. The effects of the Dawes Act. Directions. Match the following terms to the corresponding constitutional amendment. A. The 13th Amendment, 1865. B. The 14th Amendment, 1868. C. The 15th Amendment, 1870. 30. Granted citizenship and equal protection of natural rights. 
31. The formal ban of slavery in the United States. 32. Granted African American men the right to vote. You have now completed Unit 6 exam.